uh, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So before we start this video, this right here, this is a mic, this is for the channel. So I wanna hear you guys in the comments. Let me know if it sounds good. Let me know if it sounds better. I think this mic is pretty good. And yeah, just let me know if it sounds clear, like my voice sounds clear and everything. And also I apologize for the voice. I've been sick lately with like a cold or something. I'm getting a lot better now, but that's why I haven't been posting either. Cause like I was sick just things kept getting in the way and everything and it was getting annoying so but yeah let's just get into this video let's talk about how your discernment is on point right and i've already made a video talking about discernment but i wanted to make another video on it so if you're chosen you have spiritual gifts right you have a strong gift of discernment you have a strong intuition right you could you could almost like predict how things are going to happen a lot like you're prophetic you can see like how someone's feeling really easily. You can see what kind of intentions a person has in their eye. You could even go as far as to say you could see the next move someone is going to do just by the way they look and what like you could kind of just read people really well, right? And I know if you're watching this video, you've probably seen this before where like your predictions were really accurate and you would see how people act and like you were right. So if you're someone who's different right you're highly gifted you're chosen you're you're going to be someone that just sees things differently that's why i always say if you're chosen you kind of have wide open eyes right and this may have been since you were a child you've always had wide open eyes since you were a child but because of also past experiences and like other things the discernment and intuition got stronger right because when you're younger you're always more naive even if you're super intelligent you're still naive because you're gonna you see certain things and you don't really know much about it and then you experience it and then you realize what's actually happening right but i know if you're watching this video ever since you were really young you probably always had a really strong discernment and this is why you've also had a lot of people like lie to your face and like <clears throat> and act like they're not they're not doing what you see right you see like a lot of cruelty a lot of evil a lot of manipulation but they act like it's it's not true so they try to like gaslight you and everything and they try to kind of get you to doubt yourself right <clears throat> and this has been a constant battle for you if you're someone who's chosen you've probably been around a lot of people who kind of made you feel like you're not like who you think you are so you might have been battling with like your sense of self because you see something and you're like, okay, I know I'm right. But then this person says this and then you get like this doubt in your head. But doubt comes from the enemy, right? Doubt, doubt, doubt comes from demons. It comes from the devil. It's not true. And you know, you know that it's true. But you need to understand that your discernment's a really high skill that you have. It's a really strong gift. Because not everybody has really, really strong discernment with things. Like whenever you speak to people, you can kind of tell exactly like how they're going to act. Or you could kind of look at somebody... And you'll see this person, whoever it is, and you could be like, okay, this person is likely, you know, manipulative. You could tell this person is egotistical. Even without them talking, you could just see the way they move and everything. So this all came down likely since you were a child because you've probably been around a lot of people. You've been a lot of, around a lot of evil people. You've seen a lot of evil. You've seen a lot of good. So you're able to, your mind is able just to tell the difference really easily because you've been experiencing these things since you were younger, right? And your discernment doesn't just go through people. Your discernment kind of goes through any situation in general just because it, it is so sharp, right? So you could even have, like, let's say a situation as, like, a situation as you just go to, like, a store or something, right? You go to a store... And you're like, oh, I'm going to get a, um, you know, I want to get like this jacket or something. You're like, I want a new jacket. I want to get a Nike jacket or whatever you want to get, right? And your discernment is equal to your intuition pretty much. Your intuition, you could kind of like, you kind of get like a feeling of what's going to happen, right? And just, your discernment is when you're at the actual place. So you go to the actual place and you can discern like what's kind of going to happen already. But you might even have this intuition, like say you're getting like a jacket, right? And before you go to the store, or this might, it might be like, you know, the Nike store or something or the, the clothes store. And you might have a thought in your head and you're, you're like, you know, they're probably not even going to have this. They're not going to have the, the one that I'm looking for, right? You just have this thought. It's not like you somehow like just know it. You just have it. And then you get, you get like an internal feeling, right? 
you get an internal feeling like, okay, they're, they're not going to have it. I shouldn't go. And then you go and then you're right. Right. And th these things happen for you if you're spiritually gifted. It's, it's kind of like you just have like this weird knowing about certain things or like <clears throat> say somebody wants to hang out with you and you already don't trust this person. You already know that you kind of already know what this person's about, but you might still not even for real know them. And like you're going to hang out with like a certain person. And this comes from you being highly protected, right? Because you're protected by God. You're protected by God's angels and everything. You'll, you'll chill with a certain person. And before you chill with these, this person or these people, you might have like something in your stomach that's like making you uneasy. You, you kind of feel like this kind of like weird sense, like it's uneasiness. And you might be like, I shouldn't go. And then you, you kind of ignore this feeling. And then you do go hang out with these people or this person. And then all of a sudden something bad happens. Like maybe they crash their car or something while you're in it or like just something just something bad happens and like i'm speaking from experience as well but i know you guys can resonate from this to this video because i know a lot of you guys are exactly like this and you go through like certain situations where like somehow you just like knew it wasn't the right thing to do you, just, you have a really you have a really strong moral compass in a way like you just know if the thing is good to do or bad to do you'll just know how to do it and whenever you do ignore this, whenever you do ignore your own, you know, your own safety or your own well-being and you go to these situations and then you always regret it, right? This is why you need to listen to your intuition. You, you need to listen to your discernment too because your discernment and intuition is probably never wrong. It could be a little skewed sometimes, but most of the time it's not like you're paranoid. Like it's not paranoia or it's not like you're way too guarded to yourself. It's not like that. And the discernment could could be like say you're speaking to a love interest right and like this person may like you or something or like you may like this person but like you see them you see them and then you see how they move and how they act and then you're like okay this person doesn't seem good like they seem like like the, you'll just get something that you, you'll just get something that makes you want to go the other way right it's like it's like an urge just to be like no nah, I'm, not, I'm not even going to talk to this person something's weird about this right so you you have a really strong sense of intuition you have a really strong discernment and it's for a reason too because this is how god made you right because you're spiritually gifted you have spiritual gifts you know you have gifts of the holy spirit and the gifts of the holy spirit they give you a lot of wisdom this is why you seem to kind of know things a lot without even like knowing how you know it you might just like know what someone's going to do or like where someone's going to go or how someone's going to act without them even talking and like this is why you've always been kind of in weird situations with people right this is why a lot of people have kind of like hated you for no reason like you'll have people just like go off on you and like just be mad at you or like try to put you down for no reason it's like you're not even acting arrogant you're not even acting you know you're not even acting malicious or anything you're not even speaking in a way but you'll have people like act this way to you it's because you have really high discerning eyes since you have a really strong gift of discernment they can see it in your eyes that like they can't really fool you they can't manipulate you and if someone if someone's manipulative if someone's the type of person that likes to fool people and like lie to people they're gonna hate you right this is why you've had a lot of people get exposed when you're around and like you didn't even say anything but you're like hold up this person's really really just like violent against me right like it won't be like physical violence but it'll, it'll just be like they're angry at you and you're like why, why is this person even like angry at me i don't even know this person for real it's all in your eyes whenever you look at people this is also why i always say that if you're spiritually gifted if you're chosen you kind of like your eyes kind of tell the whole story your your eyes are, your eyes are really discerning your eyes are really discerning so whatever you look at a certain person and if they're if they're doing something that they know makes them guilty in a way they know that it's not right but they do it they feel like they get away with it whenever you come around they can't get away with that that's why they get so mad because they're like okay this person sees me i feel exposed i gotta you know protect myself so this is what's been happening to you like your whole life this could have been since you were a child since you were a child you've always been you you just always been able to see things and like when you were a child you probably didn't didn't really know how to react to this right because you saw the truth but you saw people act another way and you're like okay no that's kind of evil you shouldn't be doing that and like you you see you see like these things and then these people get really mad at you like it could have been when you were a child it could have been like a grown adults who were like this or like 
when you were younger, it could just been people a little bit older than you. Like they would get mad at you, and you're like, "What am I even doing?" It's because you you expose you expose evil really fast. That's why, because you have the spirit of God inside of you, and God is a God that exposes things, that brings everything into the light. Because God is the light. God is love. God is light. And since you carry that spirit, your spirit just shines a light on everything. So if a per if a person is naturally good, naturally you know loving, naturally fair, naturally just. When you come around, it's just gonna expose that, and and then these type of people are the people that love you because like you'll you'll talk to these people, and then all of a sudden they're gonna start talking, they're gonna start speaking, they're gonna start getting energized, right? And then you talk to the opposite, which is dark, you know, people that are manipulative, evil, liars, and everything, you know, stuck in sinful ways, stuck in just like stuff that's not you know right to do, that's, that's malicious to do, and you'll go around these people. So whenever you talk to these people, you don't even naturally have to talk to them. You can just look them in the eye. You you look these people in the eye, and then you you already feel that type of spirit on them. You already feel like anger. You'll feel like envy. You'll feel like malicious. These are the type of people that would try to get like something under you, like they say, like try to get under your skin or something. Try to like try to say something, or like they just hate you, or like they want to see you like messing up you they want to see you down and everything these these you've always been able to see these ever since you were young and your discernment's always been strong but because your discernment's always been strong your discernment's been getting even better every single time because it's since it's always been right it's mostly always been right it just keeps getting stronger because you see the truth the more truth with people and this is why a lot of people like to either hate you like they hate your guts like they they just hate you or like a lot of people love you and they, they want to be around you. This is how your life is going to be if you're spiritually gifted, right? And um, yeah, it's not something to play with though. Because no one likes to be exposed. Like no one likes to be exposed with things. And for you, since your eyes are wide open, you just have you just have a naturally exposing presence. This is also why your presence is really big. This is why your presence is really polar to people like... You, you never really have situations with people where like they're kind of like neutral to you you'll have a situation where people like love you a lot like they want to be around you or like you have people that just straight up hate you they just straight up hate you or like they're envious of you or like they want to put you down you never really had truly just like a neutral like conversation really even if you had like the grocery store or something like which is completely neutral even when you speak like you could tell when a, a person's kind of looking at you differently they're like who is this person this is just how your life is going to be right you kind of got this uh you kind of got this celebrity type spirit to you and i only say celebrity but it's really the spirit of god inside of you but god is god is bright god is love and it's really it's really it's really noticeable right like a celebrity is really noticeable that's just how you are naturally you might have been like this since you were a kid no you're likely likely like this since you were a kid so it goes way deeper than your looks way deeper than what you do way deeper than what whatever it is that's you know in the world it goes deeper than that it's all on a spiritual level so but yeah that wraps it up um yeah let me know how this mic sounds i think it sounds pretty good just let me know in the comments but also of course comment anything below i hope you guys enjoyed this video of course don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment and also I always forget to say this but don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video and everything and of course if you're not subscribed don't forget to subscribe to the channel all right god bless you guys